All right, good morning, everyone. It's Marion here. So I'll be doing a little bit of a video here. This one is coming by request. I was talking about cooking chicken with a friend, and he, uh, Zach, to be specific, wanted me to do a video on this. So I'll do a video. Now, it's not exactly a full cook. I'm not cooking anything from scratch. It's a bit cheating because, you know, right now with moving and all this, I, I haven't had a kitchen for a while. So, but I'm at Michael Grubb's place. Been staying there for a while. Thank you, Michael. But what I'll be cooking for breakfast this morning is the chicken. And like I said, it's a bit of a cheat. I like using the Tyson Anytizer chickens. This is what I like to use. And I also like to use the Grillmates barbecue. That's what we're going to show you real quickly. As you can see. Now, it does state, before I get doing this, it does state the back here. It says cook for at 450 for 20 minutes. Now what I like doing, I crank it up to about 475, sometimes 5, because I like getting mine a little bit crispier, makes it a little more well done. And now, I've got my chicken laid out right here, I'll show you. Now I let it lay on top of the oven, while it preheats here. Go ahead, pull you back. So my chicken's been preheating here. Go ahead and pull you guys back into the frame. And just because I'm a little weird like that, I like eating all the wing pieces first. So I get this little weird guy. So, get on here. You want to grease your cookie sheet. There we go. Chicken on there. Still a little bit frozen. There we go. Take your seasoning here. Nice even coat on the top. Dead that little guy right there. So it's evenly coated here on the top. And like I said, this isn't a, like I said, it's a bit of a cheat. But it's something I like to do just to enhance the flavor a little bit. It makes it a little more crispier. Something I like doing. And you know, it's a little fancy if you're short on time. Don't get a whole, well, I shouldn't say short on time. It does take, the way I do it, it takes 30 minutes to cook. It's part of in there, 15 minutes. And then you'll flip them over. Add more seasoning and then cook for another 15 minutes. But works in the pinch, you ain't got a whole lot going for you. Got a bit of an empty fridge. And I just don't have the time to cook. So I'll let that cook for about 15 minutes, crack it open, flip them on over, and if I got to, I'll switch off the tin foil because sometimes it gets a little crusty and then you can't. It's just going to de skin the chicken. So, I'll get going that in 15 minutes. All right, been 15 minutes. Go ahead and get those out. <clears throat> See what they're looking like. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's go ahead and bend you down. See here, get nice little, getting a nice little crunch to them. I am for the sake of argument here. I'm gonna switch these over though. There we go. So first thing you want to do, this guy. There we go. Set him. Ooh, warm. Ooh, you guys are hot. And you can see right here. 
juicy and hot. This guy right here, all that sauce and the skin came off. This guy right here too. That's why I started doing this. I got tired of one half of my chicken being crunchy and the other half being well not so crunchy. There we go. Whew, warm. Get this little crunchy guy right here. Mmm. Barbecue. And buffalo. Boop. You want your barbecue seasoning? Nice even coat on the tops there. There we go. All right, he wants guys. There we go. Gotcha. Mm. Pull that out. And do this guy for another fifteen. Leaves me nice and crunchy when we get done. be honest due to the time constraint here that I'm getting ready for work too. The first cook might have not been a complete 475 which I got the oven set for. So those did look a little bit softer than what I normally make them at. There you go camera. So I'll have that set for another 15 minutes. Get her going and then hold on see how it looks. All right. Alright, well that's 12, that's 15 more minutes. Let's go into what we got here. Mm -hmm. oh, these are looking good. Alright, now I can see here. Let me get this on down here. Did get it. There we go. This guy's stuck on the pan. There. Got a little bit darker there. There we go. There's one. So, do we got that crispy crunch on them? This guy here. That's how I uh, make my um, double seasoned chicken there using Tyson Any Tyson and the barbecue seasoning one, you know. Middle of a move, don't got a kitchen, just cooking everything out of the oven. I'm going to spice things up a little bit. That'll do it. And like I showed you on the, before I flipped them, you pull one side off, the other side, all the skin's gone, the seasoning's all gone. We got one side seasoned, one side not. So at least this way here, crank that heat up, makes it nice and crunchy. And then you got the buffalo seasoning, the barbecue seasoning, makes for a pretty good treat. So, but those of you that don't know, I did get my apartment. So I will be moving in, time around, probably the 11th, the 12th, 13th, around there. I want to say my day off is Tuesday, so I'll sign all the paperwork, go out there, get that taken care of, and then move in. So, looking forward to that. I have to get a new grill, got to get my new George Foreman, and got to pick some new stuff up, and then I'll get right back to making more videos. So, thank you guys very much. You guys have a good day, and be safe out there. It is snowing out there, or raining, or a mixture of the two, I couldn't tell you. Have a good day.